Hello, my name is Mr. Spammel, and today I'm here with Tibbs. You all know him, it's Tiger GG, absolute beast. And we're going to show you. He came up with this idea, by the way. This wasn't me. Full credit goes to Tibbs for this one. But we're going to show you some little sneaky building tricks that are really going to improve your houses. Uh, some I've used in videos before, some I haven't. Some I've used in videos ages ago, such as that over there. But you know, no, no spoilers. If you're not already subscribed, what are they messing at, Tibbenham? It's not what very hard. Just hit the button and hit Punch the button it. to the side. Punch the drop kick the bell button. <laughs> hey, chill out. <laughs> right, let's go ahead and get started. Starting off at number one, we have this. This uh, I used in a video, literally in like 2017, an ancient video at this point. But it's a little uh, burger grill because I made a little burger stand and I used 1220, which is a metal rifle rack. Uh, to make a little a little barbecue and then I use the campfire underneath to uh, add a little bit of fire to it There's two fridges because it has to be a certain thickness to cover up like the flames popping out uh, The only modded bit of this is obviously the cash register, but that's not very hard a little umbrella for some decoration and some shade Keep the burgers in good condition to them yeah, I guess uh, so. A little note just to fill it up and that's about it very simple Although if you're looking for a very easy business to make an RP server why not sell some burgers? It takes like two minutes to build. Very, very nice. What's next, Tibbet? Uh, this one. Next up, we have <laughs> the wonderful. Is it wonderful? Some say it's camouflage. I say <laughs> perfection. <laughs> perfection. To add a bit of uniqueness to your build. Mm hmm. It does. Very simple, but I mean, if you're doing a movie or something, you know, you might want to yeah. add a little bit of decoration. You're making some abstract art. You might want to add a little bit of decoration, some it perfection. Makes it, abandoned. it does. It looks very cool. Very simple trick. Yeah, again, this is literally just one item, just placed nicely using this little door frame bit here. Uh, you don't need admin to do it. You can just be careful when you place it. Very, very simple, but that's just number two because, well, you got to leave the most exciting stuff for last, uh, such as the ladder. Remember that, Tibbs? That's a good one. Though. Oh, yeah. So that's the one that you saw in the thumbnail, actually, but don't worry. We'll explain that. That's not clickbait. So now, look at this. High-tech lock system. This How is a high-tech. It's can't. Yeah, you just got to enter the uh, the key code. 1488, Tibbenham. Yeah. Wait, hold okay, on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. One, yeah. Four, yeah. Eight, eight. Uh, wow. Jeez. Look at this. And that's it. Literally just a charge build cam slightly into the wall been used countless times by loads of people, uh, especially Tibbs, he likes to put Wait them in videos. Yeah. yeah. And round this corner, we have number four, which is just, uh, there's actually two tricks in here. One of them being the hidden lights to add a little bit of cinematic glow. Uh, you can do them all colors. That's just a flare build cammed up there a couple times like in the same place. Uh, hiding, uh, that's just a cage light in the floor using some glass to cover it and make a cool little display and then these are just metal pipes like two metal pipes really easy uh pretty simple once you get used to it just gonna be using control b and control n to make sure they clip nicely uh you can um, see the generator turning it on there i don't plan on like getting your precious guns in there because you can't get them out yeah well just for show it's for show uh but it works looks pretty nice especially in a more fancy house for roleplay servers very very nice something i used in my bunker there's a little clip of it right there I just got some plots and when I was build camming them, uh, let me do a little example for you actually. So you select it, you do Q to make sure you're in the uh, this version of selecting, I don't know what it's called, Control B, Control N, hold Control, click it up once, boom, perfectly clipped. You just do that a couple times and you've got perfectly spaced out plots that let you get a load more of your crops in a very small area. Uh, so it looks very nice, super good for anywhere that's a little bit more compact, maybe like a shop or something. Here we have, this was just, what was it like, an experiment? Yeah, I don't know what this is, but it looks pretty cool. It does. I have a sheep. And it yeah. adds... Oh. <laughs> Come on, hey, stop getting distracted, chill. Wait, just let me do something. Oh, alright. Poor sheep. <laughs> oh, poor sheep. What the sheep do to you, man? Cloth. But yeah, this is just uh, some bars fortification, something I even forgot was in the game. You place it in a window, we did it over there. Use the same technique, select it, control B, control N, 
and then just position them like this. It reminds me of like really old fashioned pubs and stuff that you might see around the UK. Uh, pretty simple and just add something. Also, of course, it adds protection because you've got to get through two layers instead of just one. And these vast fortifications, just like in the name, are pretty tough cookies, I'll give them that. They are. This is something that took me a little bit too long to build cam. Uh, so it's quite tricky. I've had practice with build cam, but people who don't know how to use build cam as much might not. It's a little bit awkward to walk up, but honestly just looks really cool. So that's the point of it. You've mm. got to be careful with the headspace because with mine, I can only just fit. Like if I'm sure if I spent a little bit more time in it, I could get it perfect. But it works, surprisingly. It was just me messing about, but it's a working spiral staircase in Unturned, which is pretty impressive to be honest. And I'm sure in an RP house, everyone will think you've got like a mod for it or something. But uh, nope, it is literally just some metal pillars, not poles. There, wait, what? Metal pipes, there we go. Pipes. There's two of them in each section. I just spaced them out, clipped it to the middle. Let me do a little example. Uh, you get your metal pipe, you place it. You select this, control B, control N. It's in the center. Uh, you do it like this so you can see where it's clipping this is very important that you can see where it's clipping holding control while you do this by the way otherwise it's not going to clip correctly uh for now let's just say we're adding a staircase there so you do that hit q hold control extend out boom and then use control b and control n to clip another staircase right there and then boom it's pretty easy just takes time and is a bit fiddly not gonna lie but it's rustic tibinum Hmm. Out of every little trick we've showed you, this is the one you probably thought was just a little bit of Photoshop in the thumbnail. But it is a very careful placement of a ladder. I put a little marker here so you can see where the ladders are. Let me uh, show oh, you. Yeah, but look at that. He, uh, he just, you just climb up the wall and obviously when you go third person, let me speed up the camera a little bit. Like look at that. It literally looks like I'm Spider-Man or something just going up the wall. Uh, you can clip to different places so two people can look like they're just climbing up at different points and stuff. Um, it looks like I'm stuck. It does. I'm holding on the edge. It looks like Tibbs is climbing up it properly, which is really, really cool. You can do this on any flat wall. Doing it on a bendy wall wouldn't really work. Uh, but let me show you in build cam what exactly I've done. So that you can see he's clipped onto the ladder with his arms there and they are right as close to the edge as they can be. Kind of like with signs when you do the text thing. The, as you can see, like, they just select all the way down, but he can climb up the wall and it just works. I don't know how, but it does. And it looks very, very impressive. Like, look at this. So you could have like a secret base location. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah. You could actually, like you could put your base up here on a ledge and hide the ladders. Yeah, there is like so much stuff you could do with this, honestly. Right. Uh, very simple. As a little bonus, I thought I may as well pop in to the set. And this is the unturned set. Uh, you've got the soundproofing that goes around. You've got the flares, which do the lights. And to make them so bright, we just build cammed a ton of, well, I build cammed a ton of flares into one place of the same color. Uh, if you get a normal flare, just as a comparison, and you, let's say, throw it in this corner, like, look at that, Tibbs, look at this. Look how pathetic Ooh. this is. Uh, but yeah, very simple. The TV's just clipped there. Very easy. We used a lot of little building tricks for this. But anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, it's cool being back in the set. Tiger's never been here before. He might even pop into a podcast at some point. Oh, I love a podcast. It would love be pretty it. nice. And if you ain't already subscribed and you've just seen all of these building tips and you use one of these building tips, come on, just hit the subscribe button. Hit that hit little it. bell button. Just punch it again. Just drop kick it. And I'll see you in the next video.